All right, now listen, let me talk to this doctor, okay? I'll explain to him that we have a, a dangerous psychopath in our bar, and he could snap at any minute. And because there are no facilities to lock him in, we need to get him his medication as soon as possible in order to avoid a massacre. No, 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 no. Just let me handle this, okay? I'll act crazy, and then he'll prescribe them to me. You will sit here and you will be quiet. Your bad acting will only confuse him, and it will infuriate me. I'm gonna ask him about the frog kid. Don't oh do that. Oh, my God. Mm? Don't do that. No, Froggy and I need <sighs> each other. He's out there all alone. I'm gonna find Froggy. You are never gonna be able to find a goddamn frog person, okay? I'm gonna hey, find him. Please, just let me handle it. I got it. I got it. Hello, thank you for waiting. I'm Dr. Coleman. How can I help you today? Yes. Do you have some sort of donkey brain database? No. I'm looking for a kid, uh, the frog kid. Just search for any half-man, half-amphibious creature. <laughs> okay, no, that's not why we're here, doctor. Doctor, I've always relied upon the kindness of strangers. What is, what are you doing? What is that, a streetcar named Desire? I'm in desperate need of medical intervention. You see, years ago, I tried to burn my college roommate down to the box springs whilst she was sleeping, and now, I have a hankering to do it again. Dr. Zimmerman! Excuse me? Dr. Albert Zimmerman, the old bastard who ran the nitwit farm. He'll know where Froggy is. I'll find him. Yeah, I'll find the frog kid. Yeah, go find him. I'm gonna find him. Uh, I'm not sure I understand what's happening. I'm schizophrenic. D, mm. I swear you would be of more use to me if I skinned you and turned your skin into a lampshade or fashioned you into a piece of high-end luggage. I can even add you to my collection. Are you saying that you have a collection of skin luggage? Of course I'm not, Dee. Don't be ridiculous. Think of the smell. You haven't thought of the smell, you bitch! Now, you say another word, and I swear to God, I will dice you into a million little pieces and put those pieces in a box, a glass box, that I will display on my mantle. <gasps> All right. Now that that's settled, we can have a normal conversation. Now, Doctor, I'm here to talk to you about a man, a very dangerous and a very unstable man. 